It's beginning to look a lot like titmus everywhere you go. So I'm getting ready for the gym, and by getting ready, I mean I'm going to brush my teeth and then bundle up like I'm about to go play in the snow, uh, because that's what I wear at the gym, okay? So I'm thinking, what kind of video am I going to make today? What am I going to do? And then I came across this girl's butt cheeks here. Yep. Talking about gym girls. Let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's see what see what these uh see what these ass cheeks about to do. I think that's copyrighted music. You kidding me? You you kidding me, brother? All right, now that I've got your attention, this is a this has got to stop. I've I've said I'm saying it for everybody, brother. The male mind in 2024 is so overly sexualized that they can't go anywhere, everything. They, they pick up two apples because they're hungry, like, oh God, oh God. <laughs> they, can't, they can't control themselves. Because everywhere they look, they go sit on the toilet, take a poop. They go take, trying to take a poop. They get on their phone because no one goes to the bathroom without their phone nowadays. They just load up the Instagram, click the search bar. It's like the red light district hit his For You page. Now I know I'm gonna get a couple of chicks that don't do this because they're too insecure and say, well, we can do whatever we want with our body. Sure you can. But however, there are repercussions to that. Is that you're sexualizing yourself. There's a new trend going around where there's breastfeeding videos. You're gonna sexualize breastfeeding? You're a sustaining life to your newborn child. That is a very natural and beautiful thing. And you're sexualizing it? Brother, I'm so tired of seeing women in their underwear in the gym. Look, you're telling me this doesn't look like a club outfit? That's a sports bra. I see chicks wearing these at the gym. Look, that almost looks like a nipple. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of it. Let's see what this one's doing here. In the gym! You in the gym doing this? Listen, if you want to advertise your OnlyFans, but, uh, do it at home. Do it at home. Stop doing it in the gym. Gym's crowded. People are already insecure. It's a bunch of dudes. They're trying to get their life back in order. Like, man, I just, I'm, I'm trying to do this no fat thing because I just can't stop thinking about sex. Let me go to the gym. And you see these hot underwear women dancing around, showing them ass cheeks. They're pulling their, they're pulling their leggings up. Girls got leggings so tight. In the gym, I see the cellulite through the pants. Get out of here. Have some self-respect. Bring, ba bring back Amish country. When a woman is very modest, she's got the package, right? But she's not flaunting it. She's hiding it in a way. That's sexy, right? This is what I wear at the gym. Right here. I got, I got a regular shirt, sweatpants. And then I wear a low bill hat like this. You barely see who I am. Barely not. I look like the Unabomber. Except most of the time... I've got a sweatshirt on as well. And I'll wear a sweatshirt almost the entire time. The problem about this attire is that this is now the new norm for girls to wear in the gym. It's like, I'm gonna go to the gym so I have to buy leggings. I have to buy $110 leggings and a $70 sports bra. You're in debt! You ain't even made it to the gym and you in debt. The gyms ain't free. I remember talking to this girl one time and she's like, I wanna go to the gym so bad, but I'm so insecure. I was like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? She said, sports bra and leggings. You already insecure as hell? <laughs> you wear underwear in the gym in public? You know dudes looking at you. And then girls said, well, girls approach me. They're so weird. Wear normal clothes? <laughs> I've always said that I would never date a gym girl. And it's not that I don't find them attractive with, you know, and all that stuff like that. It's just that every time, every girl I've ever talked to that went to the gym had an Instagram dedicated to all the different outfits she wears at the gym. And I just, I'm not into it, brother. If you feel the need to sexualize yourself for random people to look at, I'm good. I'm gonna pass. It's dumb, man. It's dumb. You don't see me wearing Speedos on squat day. You don't see me wearing Speedos at all. Animals in the animal kingdom have specific times where they're ready to mate. That, you know, like like peacocks, they'll, they'll pull their feathers out. Like, hey, like, this is me, this is what... This is, I'm a good mate, you know, with all my different feathers. Or they'll have, like, mating calls, right? They'll do something. That's when they're like, okay, that's when the chicks are ready to bang. All right, let's go, baby. How what? Check this out. 
if they did that 24 7 oh my god you'd have such a problem because let me tell you the animal kingdom is lawless all right you know there would be an issue there and the males wouldn't be they'd be like do i hunt do i bang do i hunt do i bang? they'd be they go extinct they wouldn't be doing anything else but banging was that a stupid analogy? Probably, but you get the point. You get the idea. There's so much more to life than sexual stimulation. And a lot of males specifically are missing out on that part of life. Because they're always constantly, they're, they're looking at titties on the toilet. They're looking at titties when they're trying to go to bed. They're looking at titties at the gym. looking at titties when they go out in public. They're, there's, they're surrounded by sexualized images. And it's not just women's fault because, you know, guys are buying it and... and Right, there's, it, it, take, it takes two to tango, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that it is destroying people's lives. Brother, it's destroying lives, marriages, homes, people's youth. It's, it's become a real problem. And I've seen it. I've seen dudes actually struggle. Like when, I remember a guy reaching out to me and said, Dude, I'm addicted to watching porn. And I, I don't know why he's talking to me because I don't watch it. I swear, I'm up and down. I don't watch porn. And so I can't relate, but he's, he's starting to tell me how much he's watching it and how much he's trying to talk to girls. He told me that he was hitting up girls on Facebook Venture for at least four hours a day. What in the hell is, the, what's the point of life if that's, if that's it? You spend your entire time trying to hit girls. Bro, there's so much more to life. All right, that's it for me. I'm out, baby.